Halaster Blackcloak is an incredibly old wizard. He has been there since before Waterdeep was even a city, and he may be there long after it's gone. Halaster Blackcloak is a very, 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 very old wizard. Um, Halaster is not his actual name. Um, it is it has changed. It used to be Halather um, back in the old old days and. Before Waterdeep was a city, he came to uh, what it used to be, which is basically this fort on the coast, and built himself a stone tower there uh, so that he and his apprentices uh, could descend under Mount Waterdeep and kind of plunder and take over the dungeons that were uh, basically under there. Dungeons carved out by ancient races, dwarves, elves, Duragar, God knows what else. Um, and uh, he is, uh, so he's been around Waterdeep since its founding. But he and his apprentices discovered something during their explorations of Undermountain that basically for lack of a better word, uh, spellbound them. Um, there's, there's something about the nature of Undermountain, and others have experienced it since that, and it doesn't affect everybody, but something happened long ago that tangled up the weave, basically the magic of the world. Like if you think of, if you think of the magic of the Forgotten Realms as this web that kind of threads over the world and through it, that um, there are creatures who can cast spells so powerful that as they draw the power of the weave, it actually causes something to, like a tear in the weave or a knot in the weave or something. Something happened um, in the general area of Waterdeep long ago that affected Halaster. Uh, long before Waterdeep was there, or any forts were there or anything, the elves had a city there. And when they left, they wiped the entire city away to eradicate their presence. And that effect basically created this wrinkle in the weave that the elves said, well, we're not living here anymore anyway, so whatever, fuck it, we're gone. Um, and they left the wrinkle there, and it's that wrinkle got into Halaster's head, basically, and messed it up. And so he is now obsessed with the dungeon and cannot leave it, or doesn't want to leave it. It has become his domain. And many of his other apprentices had the same effect. And adventurers who have gone into Undermountain, many of them, like Durnan from the proprietor of the Yawning Portal Tavern, have and Mert, the money lender, have also felt this tangle in the weave and been had their minds warped by it, so that they feel like they can never leave or go very far away from Undermountain. They always feel a longing to return there. And so that sort of became part of Halaster's drive to take over Undermountain, conquer it, make it his domain, and kill anybody who tried to wrest it from him. And he became very, very powerful and also insane. Uh, and many of his apprentices did as well. Some of them got killed off, if not by Halaster, then by their own experimentation and miscast spells and other hijinks. Halaster himself has kind of died once, but there's something about the nature or fabric of the dungeon that keeps bringing him back. So he has essentially reformed, much like a lich reforms with the aid of a phylactery. Halaster reforms with the aid of Undermountain. The two have become essentially one. Um, and so he is indelibly connected to the dungeon. Uh, and, uh, and outside of Waterdeep, outside of Undermountain's re influence, most people would assume he died long ago. Why would the elves wipe away their presence completely? Because elves are like that. They, they don't like to leave the wreckage of their past behind for others to plunder. Um, when, uh, when they decided to you know, move on and settle elsewhere, they didn't want their any, anything to uh, in, even indicate that they were there. Because they're just so secretive, that's all. Uh, now, they're not the only ones who, who, who settled in that area. After the elves left, the dwarves moved in and carved out layers under the mountain, which many of which became the upper levels of Undermountain. Uh, and so uh, Halaster is merely 
one of a long line of powerful figures who have gone down there. But he is the one today who arguably is the most powerful. Thank you, Chris Perkins, for being on the show. You can order Dragon Heist on dndbeyond.com. I'm Todd Kenrick. Thank you for watching.